remnant of some special matrices. Determinant of some special matrices. Very important when you are dealing either MCQ or going to interview. First matrix is symmetric matrix. So we are seeking determinant of a symmetric matrix. By the definition, a matrix said to be symmetric if A transpose equal to A take determinant of both sides determinant of A transpose equal to determinant of A. It is very important and we studied this concept in uh, schooling. Determinant doesn't alter if we change column by rows. Second is skew-symmetric matrix. By the definition a transpose equal to minus A, a matrix said to be skew symmetric. If A transpose equal to minus A, take determinant both sides, determinant of A transpose equal to determinant of minus A. And we studied the property determinant of KA equal to K raised to the power N determinant of A. And this N is size of matrix size of matrix a using this property it will be minus a raised to the power n times determinant of a if because of n is involved here we have cases if n is odd if n is odd first case then minus 1 raised to the power n will be minus 1. This implies determinant of A transpose will equal to minus of determinant A. This implies and determinant of A transpose is equal to determinant of A. So determinant of A equal to minus of determinant of A. This implies 2 times determinant of A equal to 0 and this implies determinant of A equal to 0 by dividing by 2. Means determinant of odd order is Q symmetric matrix is 0. Keep remember this point directly. Orthogonal matrix. These special matrices are very important orthogonal matrix. A matrix A is said to be orthogonal if A A transpose equal to I. If we are dealing this is in complex then A A theta is equal to I then we say unitary matrix. Take determinant both sides, determinant of A, A transpose equal to determinant of I and we know that determinant of identity matrix is 1. So determinant of A into determinant of A transpose determinant equal to 1 and we already know determinant of A transpose and determinant of A is same use this one here determinant of a into determinant of a equal to 1 this one it means determinant of a is square is equal to 1 as determinant is a number so determinant of a this implies determinant of a is equal to plus minus 1 means determinant of orthogonal matrix is uni unit modulus determinant of this implies or you can say remark 
determinant of orthogonal matrix is unit modulus unit modulus because this determinant is plus 1 if we take mod then mod is 1 now determinant of n idempotent matrix very important matrix a matrix said to be idempotent if a square is equal to a so take determinant both side determinant of a square equal to determinant of a and this implies that determinant of a into determ into a is equal to determinant of a this implies determinant of a into determinant of a equal to determinant of a this implies determinant of a determinant of a minus 1 means transpose in left side and take common this implies that determinant of a is 0 or determinant of a minus 1 is equal to 0 this implies determinant of a equals 1 means determinant of a either 0 or 1 so determinant of idempotent matrix is either 0 or 1 involuntary matrix revise all these concept when you are going to exam or you can note down these involuntary matrix if a square is equal to i take determinant to both side this implies determinant of a square is equal to determinant of identity matrix and determinant of identity matrix is 1 so determinant of a into a square right so determinant of a into determinant of a is equal to 1 this means that determinant of a is square equal to 1 this implies that determinant of a is equal to plus minus 1 means involuntary matrix have determinant either plus 1 or minus 1 and in previous in idempotent 1 is 1 or 0 now nilpotent matrix determinant of nilpotent matrix is 0 nilpotent matrix as i am ex explaining you these are sh short proof how determinant we are getting a matrix said to be nilpotent if this k is least positive index or positive in integer when first first uh, we are getting zero after k at k take determinant both side determinant of a raised to the power k is equal to determinant of zero matrix and determinant of zero matrix is zero as k times so determinant of a into determinant of a into determinant of a and so on k times is equal to this so determinant of a equal to zero so determinant of nilpotent matrix is zero or you can write determinant of a raised to the power k here now hermitian matrix determinant of hermitian matrix when you are starting linear algebra you should start from this point determinant of Hermitian matrix a matrix said to be Hermitian if a conjugate transpose equal to matrix itself 
take determinant to both sides. So determinant of a theta will equal to determinant of a and determinant of a this is s and determinant of a conjugate transpose and we studied that determinant of a and its transpose is same if conjugate is appearing here it means determinant of conjugate because here transpose so using this property is equal to determinant of a and determinant of a conjugate is same as take determinant and then its conjugate equal to determinant of a it means determinant is real how is when we study complex number then conjugate of sum of two complex number is same as conjugate of first one and conjugate of second same as product conjugate is z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate means determinant conjugate equal to determinant a means determinant is real it means determinant of hermitian matrix is always real so these are some special matrix we study it we study these matrix in all classes and symmetric skew symmetric hermitian and this point is important when skew symmetric matrix of odd order determinant of skew symmetric matrix of odd order is directly zero you can take